Harry the Horse Barbecue. Hey guys, welcome back to Harry the Horse Barbecue. Today, we're cooking up another brisket, except for this time, we are going to be doing a beef tallow wrapped brisket. Yes, this is a pretty big trend on the internet right now, but this time, we're gonna do that trend as well. We are going to cook up this brisket. We're going to wrap it in butchered paper that is kind of lined and all covered with rendered beef fat or beef tallow. And we're gonna cook this thing until it is tender and delicious. Now, this brisket we got from Barb's Butchery um, here in the Hudson Valley, great butchery. I picked up a brisket from them and this thing was massive, weighing like nearly 18 pounds. We've trimmed it down if you could see this bucket to my right, this isn't all beef trimmings, but this is beef trimmings from the last two briskets that we've cooked up here. So a lot of fat, we're gonna make a lot of rendered beef fat, some beef tallow out of this, but man was this an odd looking brisket. And as you can see, the brisket's actually missing some fat on the point on the top of the brisket here. It had a huge fat cap on the bottom. This piece that you see next to the brisket was, it looks like a piece of short rib or something that was left on through the trimming process. Um, but we had to do some major, major trimming to this guy to get it to look like a normal brisket. This is all trimmed up for the most part. We're gonna see how this goes. This is a huge experiment because I've never had to butcher down a brisket this much before. But we've left a good quarter inch of fat on the flat section. The point section has some fat on top. It's got a lot of fat on the interior. We've left the front of this pretty fatty, just in case, just to protect it during the cook. And we're gonna see how this comes out. When I also received this, they cut out a good amount of this seam fat on the inside. I don't know if you guys can take a look here. There's a big gaping kind of hole in here. This is trimmed up. This is ready for a cook tomorrow. We're gonna season it. If you haven't seen our last video on how to trim a brisket, I trimmed it pretty much the same way, just more detailed trimming, because we had a lot more things to cut off. It's gonna go with some Q glue and just straight up salt and pepper. We're gonna throw it on the cooker early tomorrow morning, and it's gonna go with some oak and cherry wood until it's done. So we'll see you guys tomorrow once we throw it on. Keep on brisketing as usual. All right guys, so it's been about three hours on this brisket. I haven't opened the lid once. Now let's check it out. It's looking pretty good. We've got some nice color rolling on this, some nice uh, mahogany color. I'm really afraid about kind of the part that's closest to the door because it's part of the flat that the butcher just didn't leave any fat on. So I want to try and keep that moist throughout the cook. But other than that, nothing looks to be burning or drying out. We're going to give it a spritz, keep that ridge you know, nice and nice and moist throughout the cook. And then close her up, let her go for a few more hours. We're gonna be spritzing again about every hour or so. 
So we're gonna give this a little shot. Apple cider vinegar and water. Oh my goodness. That be smoky. The fat is not rendering yet. It still feels like a rubber ball. So we are going to shut the lid and give us a few more hours or another hour and check back on it. Close her up. Again, we're trying to maintain about 265-ish right now. We're gonna bump up temps to 275 around maybe the five, six, seven hour mark, somewhere around there, and uh, kind of crank it up to try and get the brisket through the stall. So we will bring you back when we check on it in a couple of hours. We'll see you then. All right, so we're in the middle of yard work, but this brisket is pretty much ready to be taken off and wrapped. So let's open it up and take a look. We're about nine hours into this cook and I'm too lazy to hide my microphone wire, but here we go. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. You push on this fat, it's just giving way. Nice and crunchy on the outside. Even this big mess of fat over here. Looking really good. This, this fat over here is actually melting down to this flat part of the brisket, which kind of kept it moist throughout the cook. We've also got some uh, beef tallow going. Um, so we are going to, the beef tallow is looking real nice. A lot of nice rendered fat out of that. So what we're going to do is pull this off. We are going to use some of this beef tallow to wrap the uh, brisket in. We're gonna line the butcher paper with some tallow, wrap it up, throw it back on the cooker, maybe a couple more hours. Looking probably about a 12 hour cook here. All right, so if we wanted to know some internal temps, here we go. Let's go kind of thick part of the flat. Ooh, that's feeling nice and tender. That's actually reading 206 already. Let's go into the point muscle. About 190 in the point. This is feeling like butter already. A little resistance up in the point. So what we're gonna do, reading about 190 overall in the point, over 200 in the flat. So we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna face the point in the opposite direction now so we can catch up. And then we're looking at maybe like a two hour wrap here. So maybe 11, 12 hours total. We'll take the brisket off, let it rest for about two hours, and then we'll be good to slice into it. So we'll take you inside for the wrap. Here we go. All right guys, so it's been about 12 hours since this brisket went on. Remember when we wrapped it, we kind of put beef tallow in the wrapping. So the wrapping is clearly just soaked with a bunch of grease. Um, but we're gonna take this off. We're gonna let it rest for at least two hours before we slice into it. And we'll show you that when we get to it. We'll see you inside. Cooking up more beans. All right guys, so this brisket came off the smoker, took 12 hours, and then we let it rest for two hours. That should be kind of your guideline, depending on when you're gonna slice this up. You could rest this anywhere from two hours to eight hours to 12 hours overnight. What you should do if you're gonna rest it that long is throw it in a cooler a couple hours after it's rested at kind of room temperature. That's kind of safe, it'll hold around 
like 150, 160 is a good temperature to hold at. So you might want to take your thermopen, probe it, see when it's at that temperature, throw it into your cooler. So we're ready to unwrap this brisket, but first, let's just kind of think back to what this brisket looked like. I have never seen a brisket that looked like this. It had a fat cap on the bottom, a fat cap on top, except for on the side, kind of top of the flat muscle. There was fat removed. There was this odd chunk over here. We've kind of already started eating it, but this looks like it was part of the um, like short rib meat, and I wasn't gonna let it go to waste, so we cooked it up and you know, a couple of hours on the smoker, I would say maybe five to six hours on the smoker, something like that, and it came out really good, but let's give it another taste test just for quality control. So we left a good amount of fat on there. Take a look at this. Smokering on there. The fat is nice and rendered. Look how juicy that looks. See the juice glistening down this thing. Now, this isn't part of the brisket yet. We'll show you the brisket, but let's take a gander at this. See how we did on this. I already snacked on the whole end piece and I was like, man, that's really good. It is still really good after a bunch of bites. Oh my God. That fat just renders down but the meat is so tender and so juicy. Man, I'm glad I didn't throw this away because I was trimming, trimming, trimming. We were left with a lot of fat, which is how we ended up making our own beef tallow, kind of over here. We rendered down all that fat. I didn't want to let anything go to waste here. So our beef tallow, we rendered down in the smoker. So it's actually got some smoke flavor. And it's actually, as you can see, it's still a little, um, liquidy. That will solidify over time and you know you can use that to cook up a steak, throw it on some vegetables, do something with it. You can throw it in your uh, wraps for your brisket which is what we did today. We took previously rendered down beef tallow and threw it in the wrap, wrapped up the brisket for probably about three hours on the smoker. So it went nine hours unwrapped, three hours wrapped and now we're getting ready to unwrap this guy so let's get into it. Look at all that gorgeous grease. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Holy cow. Now that looks amazing. Let's start cutting our brisket. So we kind of have an odd shape. Like I said, this is a, a very weird brisket. I've never seen one kind of like this before. Um, our flat muscle is over here and it kind of curves around this way. Point meat is up top over here. You could see we got a nice dark bark on this. Nothing's like burnt or crunchy. That bark softened up in the wrap, but let's give this a shot. End cut here. Fat, nice and yellow, nice and rendered. Good smoke ring around there. We're gonna set this down in the fat so it doesn't oxidize and we're gonna keep moving. How we're gonna do this is we're gonna kind of slice and we're gonna rotate up this way. And then once we hit this point meat, we're going to rotate 90 degrees. So let's make some more slices. Remember your slices should be about a quarter of an inch. Take a look at one of our flat slices. Kind of get in here. So let's take a look. You can look at that fat render. Oh man, this is on the edge of just hanging on there by itself. 
which is okay. Nice and tender. The slight tug and it pulls absolutely right apart. So nothing wrong with this. We could do it again. Barely hanging on. Pulls right off. I might as well see how we did. Oh man. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to not eat all of this. That still has all of this beefy flavor inside of it. It still tastes like a brisket. I was so worried it was gonna taste like more like a steak, more like maybe like a grass-fed cow or something. But man, that is outrageous. So good, and that's just the flat. We haven't even gotten to the point yet. So let's get over to that now. We're gonna just go straight down the middle with this guy. Now this ridge, actually we're gonna start here. We're gonna go on the right side of this ridge. This ridge is a little bit further in. So we still have all this flat meat over here. So I'm gonna go a little bit to the right of this ridge, because this is where the burnt ends can come from. And I'm gonna make a slice right down the middle. Oh yeah. Just take a look at that. All of that juice just glistening in there. Now that seam fat, you could still see it in there. That seam fat didn't render out all the way, but it's still gonna be edible, okay? We rendered it down a good amount, and that's where all that juice is dripping from. This is the juiciest brisket I've literally ever handled in my life. As I'm working through that slice on the, on the point meat, you could see this whole fatty seam muscle. That's part of the decal. That was that seam fat that was underneath the brisket that I tried to trim out as best as I could, and it did not render. It's gonna happen. You could eat this if you'd like, but it's not rendered down all the way. But we have a decent slice of brisket on top, so I'm just going to remove this. Then now we have this nice fatty slice, and I can get some nice burnt end pieces out of this. All right, so we're gonna taste this little burnt end piece at the end. This is from the point meat, the point muscle, I should say. This is just glistening with fat. This is probably one of the best bites on the brisket when you can get that end cut from the point. Looking real nice. Let's give it a shot. I'm like, I'm like nervous. Y'all can just go home. <laughs> it's over, it's done. That is the best piece of brisket I've ever tasted in my entire life. I don't wanna hype this up, I'm not trying to hype it up. The cut of meat we started with, albeit it was weird looking, it is high quality. This was an expensive cut of meat, but the end result is just entirely worth it. And man, I really wish we could share this with you guys, but you gotta give a brisket out there a try, especially with tallow in the wrap. Make sure you exercise regularly if you're gonna consume one of these briskets. Now, to go along with this brisket, we made a few different sides, some coleslaw. Can't forget the beans. This is what we're eating tonight and probably all week long. But you guys get out there too, you do it. You show us what you're cooking up out there. I really want to see it. Hopefully you guys like this video, you comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, at HarryTheHorseBarbecue. We'll catch you guys in the next one. We are going to eat some fatty brisket. Keep on brisketing. Deuces.